All right, welcome back everyone. It's David, aka Fairmere4731, and I've got a matchup here between Snowball Effect and Matt Baker for the finals in our 2018 tournament. What in the world is Matt Baker doing with the Swedish army? He's spelling something. U2 R is it a P U2 U Tur Turd? No. YouTube, YouTube, that crazy guy, of course I already know what he's spelling because we already did the live broadcast for this, me and Gunny, and um, I can tell you this is a very entertaining match, and crazy old Matt Baker and his YouTube spelling, even though he's got it, we won't tell him he misspelled it, we'll, we'll keep that secret to ourselves, <clears throat> but he's going to go ahead and get set up now. Um, and what he's going to do is he's going to set up his six light dragoons with two line and three uh, light dragoons over here on this flank as his push flank, his general bodyguard anchoring in the center. And then he is going to have four line and three light dragoons holding down his main force. So this is going to be his push flank. So in uh, this here in just a second, we'll see that. Um, here we go. Um, Snow is going to have uh, two light dragoons on the on uh, the left flank of Matt, two in the center and two on the right. He's got his, uh, three rifles over here uh, to the to the left of Matt with two line. He's got two more line and a militia in the center. He's got three more rifles on the right and two more line as well. And he's going to start shifting this militia over here because he sees all the rifles come into this flank. He's going to start trying to wall off. Uh, and hopefully get some shots on the flanking rifles here uh, because he's got his rifles here um, and things are going to happen extremely rapidly in this uh, contest you can see Matt's going to be shifting over to this flank so he's splitting his forces uh, with his main body over here and his push flank coming on the on pushing on the left so his light dragoons are rapidly advancing so fast while he's microing the rest of his stuff and he's got this one kind of set up kind of scary uh but he does shift it out get it fixed here and looks like snee is going to start dropping stakes i almost wish he would have pushed up here and tried to get some shots on him uh, first but i think he's waiting for his militia to come over for support and he does have two more light dragoons coming over for support as well now you're going to notice as my, uh, matt's going to be pushing he's got three light dragoons over here in the center three right here so he's going to make his first uh, assault with these three light dragoons, and these three rifles are going to be pushing up as well. So they're going to be supporting these light dragoons, and you can see he's not leaving the line behind either. He's going to start pushing them up as well. So first volley is already does get some of uh, Sneeze's uh, lights there, and he doesn't really take out much. Now because there's so much going on, he catches uh, Snow here a little bit off guard with these two light dragoons going to cause this one to start wavering. This one just routes out because the rifles are shooting at it. Okay, so this is something I always do. Is, uh, I see the open window for these uh, rifles, and I'm going to show you what the anticipation from uh, Matt Baker was. He had these three light dragoons here waiting for him, and so it was almost baiting him in. So these other two light dragoons, because he did just lose the other two, you can see them routing out, and they did shatter now he's got six light dragoons versus two of snows. And these two lines were just out of range, so he didn't even get a volley on them. So hopefully he can line up and get some shots here to return some fire. So there goes four of snows cab right off the bat, and he does get his cab out of the way before his lines do open up on him. So he has a line and a Swiss, and you can see the rifle fight over here. Uh, he's got the superiority here not that he's got numbers because he's got five rifles to six but in the way he's attacking he had superiority uh, but he only got him down to 43 on that rifle uh, because the stakes are there helping the uh, block some of the shots so even though he does have four rifles versus these three right here in this area it's not going to really help him out because the stakes are going to block shots and so neither one are going to take as much uh, damage if you will so he's got these uh, militia he needs to start throwing that in just move it up try to force Matt Baker back 
but he doesn't get that done. Now you see Matt is going to move his, uh, what used to be the main body of his force is now going to start rolling back because he does have this rifle uh, pushing up. I don't even think he is going to get shot there. Uh, but it looks like most of Snee is going to be moving over here to support this flank since he lost the cab. He tried to move his general over here to get some of that cab back, but unfortunately they shattered out and ran. So uh, Matt has dropped another stake line here. And he's doing this uh, simply to slow down the fight here. This is where the bulk of the fighting is happening. And he now has the calf superiority. So what he's going to do is he's going to start wrapping both flanks. And he's already done that because he has uh, line superiority here uh, since he rolled this line to help with this flank here. So he's going to start wrapping and using his goons uh, behind him really start shooting down these lines and just rolling down the flank. He's also going to use that tactic on the other flank here shortly. So, there he goes. And since they're at an angle, he's not going to get a really great shot on this line. It looks like he might, yeah, see here the rifle and he's getting minimal shots here. So he lost uh, down 30 men on that volley. Got only eight there in a few games. And now he's just going to get charged. So these rifles are under serious pressure. Uh, and he's got that general bodyguard coming up here to try and support these lines. He needs to stand in, uh, stand to with this line. Let them hero out. He has squared up here. Uh, honestly, uh, you know, he's bringing the other two light dragoons over. Almost what I would have done is just heroed out that one line bring the rest of these guys back, roll these rifles over, and start shooting them up. Um, I guess I'm just used to losing my calf so early that uh, that's why I would do that. Now, Matt Baker can start moving these two lines up uh, and taking uh, advantage of this cornering uh, of, the, of the formation here, but he hasn't moved up yet. But he is now going to start using his calf to wrap around this other flank. Uh, Snee is going to start wrapping up, uh, wrapping back. He has almost defeated this rifle here at least. But, uh, yeah, even with the Swiss in rifle range, it's still not helping to uh, knock down these rifles as much as he needs. Just simply because uh, they were behind that stake line. He rolls forward to shoot. Yeah, it's just, it's just brutal now. Here comes the light beam. It's going to open up. It's going to spell me. And I can tell you that I myself have never beat Matt Baker. It's, yeah, I know. It's crazy, but it's true. I have never actually defeated him in uh, a match. He is a force to be reckoned with. And you can see he's still wrapping these goons around. He just doesn't have the mobility and he's too busy microing over here that uh, he can just go over here with uh, basic uh, immunity and just shoot down these lines while he just basically uses this force to hold his position while the flanks wrap. And I mean, honestly, uh, Snow is doing a really good job here on. Uh, trying to salvage uh, from the loss of all that calf. He's done a pretty pretty good job. Uh, but this is going to be more than he can overcome. As you can see now, he's getting pincered uh, extremely hard. He's even about to lose this line with 101 men in it. He's trying to square up. And you can see now Matt Baker does have these other lines coming in. They're just going to start hitting this unit on the flank. Uh, Matt did lose one of his uh, lines over here. He's about to lose a Dragoon, but just does get out of there. There goes the Militia. Finally got beat back. But, unfortunately, I think these lines are just are just out of range of these games. So, typically, what will happen to me is I'll run into stakes and uh, lose all my cap that way. Well, that's what happens to me about 95% of the time using the, the bug cam. I never see the stakes because I'm like 46 years old. And, uh, I can't see small stuff like I used to. So, 
he is going to get some good charges on these light dragoons here and route them out, but he's unfortunately going to have to deal with the lines here behind him and all the rifles coming up as well. So he can ill afford to use these, uh, lose these lines. But yeah, so I've gotten pretty good without using Cav when fighting these grassy flat battles just because uh, I'm so used to it. Let's see, uh, he's about to get shot here. On the spot, on the spot. He's moving him out, but it's too late. He's going to get blasted. Alright, so typically what I'll do <coughs> after you lose the cab, you got to get in close with them. You got to mix it up so that their the confusion level is super high. So I, I'll bring my army and force them right into the mix of his uh, line infantry. Just get down and dirty with the bayonet. But there's, you know. Like I said, I've never beaten Matt Baker, so I'm not saying that tactic works either. Okay, he's about to hit some stakes here. Nope, he does avoid him. Maybe. Nope, there he goes. He hits him. But here he's just going to be able to crush this flank and wrap him up. All that cab is just going to be too much. He just lost his general, and they are going to run to the run to the hills here in just a minute. Still does have quite a few line left. Like those rifles were trying to hang in there. But they are going to be out of there. And here comes the final cab charge with the light dragoons. Squaring up. But it's going to be too much for them. They're not liking it. Their general bit the dust and they don't want any part of it. So it was a really good match here, uh, very hard fought, very fast paced, uh, great game by both players, and uh, they were the last two players remaining in the uh, championship round. Now it does say uh, me here, but this is actually Matt Baker as Sweden, so he got uh, 1031 in kills versus uh, Snow's 594, uh, but once again, uh, you know, just a, a little bit of unfortunate um, uh things happened to Snee there or snowball there uh just in the fact that he got he got caught uh, a little bit off guard with those two light dragoons and that's uh, uh really what kind of did it for him so but anyways thanks again guys i hope you did enjoy this uh replay so if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and we will see you on the next video thanks again guys